Okay, we, we're, we've actually been um, stopped by a normal person who is just um, here to join us and have a look and question what we're doing. So, um, how do you feel about a lady holding a sign saying that everything is okay? Uh, it's a very inspiring and positive message and, and, and it made me uh, want to uh, walk up to her and have a chat with her. Yeah. So that alone is a good thing, isn't it? It is a good thing. Human but beings connecting. But stuff. do you think she's right that everything is okay? Um, on one level, absolutely. On another level, maybe not so much. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And where do you think true happiness can come from? Um, from the from the burger restaurants. Burger restaurants. <laughs> I'm glad you've been listening to our message. Yes, exactly. Anywhere else where happiness can come from? Uh, top shop. CCTV cameras all over the Yeah. Place. How come you've got the right to film me? Because I'm in charge of the station today and I can say that. Right. You can't actually film. Can you stop, please. And the law authority can tell us to stop. No. Who pays for the station? Um, who pays for the station? Network Rail. Taxpayer. Network Rail. Thank you. No, taxpayer pays for the trades. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Under what authority can you tell us not to, not to film? Authority, and why are you so actually, worried about it? Under the authority, why I can actually obvious? say the BTP and get over and actually escort you off the station and arrest you. Under what authority? Stop tell me what the law is. It. Tell me what the law is. You can't take it's it off without private brief, property. It's a brief of you're not actually allowed to recall me. And what authority can you stop us doing it? Because I work for the station, I'm actually allowed to stop you recalling me. By the authority, when you haven't asked for permission, right. okay. stop filming when you leave the station. You. We're filming you, we're filming you. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, film me, film me, it's fine. No, Your picture's being taken by CCTV, CCTV all the time. CCTV was writing by, B, by British Transport. So what? So what? Why does it bother you if we take it or if the British Transport Police take it? No, I don't want you to take that allowed. No, I mean, can I have that person's name? Can I go and see them? The person who doing, made that is station manager, he's not here today. Can I have his email address? It's miguel.harris at nevercrowd.co.uk. As, um, as fellow human beings, can I ask you to stop asking me to stop filming? Can you stop filming then? Can you please ask, stop asking me to stop filming? <laughs> can you stop filming then? Peace and love? Stop filming. Right. Right. Stop filming now. Guys, you lost your minds. Right. All we're doing is just filming in the station. Yeah, but you ain't got permission to film us. I understand what you're saying, but, but you... So, I understand. I understand. Place, Why right? does it bother you if we film you? Why right? does it bother you? We've been called here by yeah, station staff. I understand. Stop filming and we're intervening because we're not stopping. I understand. Stopping okay. it, right? I understand that. My name is Danny. What's your name? I'm Charlie. That's my first name. What's your uh, name? I'm not going to start to send him with that one. Okay. okay. I understand what you're saying. And I'm going to just keep on reiterating is why is it that it bothers you if we film, but the fact that you film us, that and the fact that that bothers me, which it does very much. Why is that not a problem? But if we film you with a little camera, that is a problem. Saying you can't actually film unless you've got permission, prior permission, okay? The reason behind that is, for example, things like terrorists, okay? Just to give you an example, uh -huh. you know, they could be filming sort of undercover and you just put a blanket cover on it. No oh, oh, I see, right, I got you. So let me understand well, that's the that. bottom line. I got it, I got it. Now, you're not sort of working with us, so because of that, the police are going to come over here and just leave. I've asked you a couple of times to have that's, that's the bottom line. Basically. Okay, okay, fine. So what I'm hearing you saying is that you think terrorists, you think perhaps we might be terrorists. Stop trying, you, so yeah. actually actually example, stop trying to be so clever. Did you actually say stop trying to be so clever? Of terrorism. That's not the sole reason why we don't allow people to... What, uh, what other reasons Another are Another one would be sort of co commercial, you know, profitability. Okay? Commercial profitability? Yes. What do you mean by that? This is Danny and Charlie at Liverpool Street Station, as you can see from the tube sign behind us. What's going on now? We have one policeman and four PCSOs speaking to Network Rail staff for the fact that we're holding the sign that says everything is okay. What do you think of this lady holding the sign saying everything is okay? I think of her, yeah, why not? Yeah? Do you find it threatening or a danger? Threatening? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> Can we have a hug, please? Just, just to share the love. Well, delighted to <laughs> hey. hey! Everything is actually okay.
part of an undercover anti-terrorist squad just checking out that you're not filming for terrorism purposes. Are you being yeah. serious? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm not. No. Do you have a permit here? Do you here? have a permit to do this? Uh, to any from here? Yeah, because um, this is actually still private property of British Rail. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, so have you got a permit? Yeah. I don't, no, no. No, okay. okay. I've got uh, some ID up on the Twitter channel. Right, okay. Yeah, I'll get it out of the way. I'm just talking to these guys. Yeah, I've got a PSU floor that. Are you in there? Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, you're absolutely fine. Always do what the police tell you to do. Keep on shopping and everything will be fine. This is the Majesty's Government speaking from the Ministry of Truth. Everything you read in the mainstream media is 100% true. Sky News brought to you by Everything is OK. Terrorism, 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 Al-Qaeda, Mohammed, terrorism, terrorism, war in Iraq, war in Afghanistan, Al-Qaeda, Osama bin Laden, Bora Bora, Afghanistan, terrorism, stay scared, stay separate, terror, 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 terror is bad, you are bad, go shopping, stay scared. What you need is burgers, chips and sushi. Make your way quickly to the next processed food outlet. Do not waste good shopping time by hanging around here. Please, go back to your jobs. If you have not got a job, you are a worthless human being. You are not divine beings. What you are are consumers. Please, consume, consume, consume until we have no planet left to consume. What you need to do is buy things that you don't need. That's the best way to support the economy. Smiling is bad for the economy. Please do not smile, sir. Wipe that off your face, please. Stop it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Free to choose, of course you are. You haven't been brainwashed and conditioned, have you? No. It's all the others. You're not crazy, you're normal. It's the man with a megaphone. He's crazy. So if you see a man with a megaphone on the street, he's probably an attention seeker. Do not give attention seekers any attention. It just makes them do it more. So, please, move swiftly to your next shopping experience. Ladies and gentlemen, what we need is more government control in our lives. Write to your MP. Tell him we need police in our homes, never mind the streets. Look at what happens when we let people do what they like in the privacy of their own home. They come out dressed like this. It's a disgrace. <laughs> Shopping is what you are here to do. You were born to shop and you will die to shop. Please move swiftly to your next shopping experience and don't hang around here. If you see a Buddhist on the street, try and get them to leave their religion. Buddhists are trying to get us to meditate. Meditation is a waste of good shopping time. Miserable people shop more, so please remain as miserable as you can. Do not for one second believe you are a spiritual being on a quest to discover that we are all just a subjective imagination of ourselves. And you, thank you for coming along in such a good costume. You look very good. I'd like to thank the City of London Police for doing a wonderful job in their fluorescent jackets and protecting us all from the terrorists. I, for one, from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed, stay scared. I switch on Sky News and I listen to the Fox News from Rupert Murdoch telling me to stay scared. Well, I'm, I'm from Kent, but I live in Newcastle. I don't really care about that. I just okay. I've read, like, do you work, like, so the organisation? So you, <laughs> you don't care? You want to make conversations? I don't know where you're from or where you're born. Can you put it off? Do I have to put it off? I find it offensive and you're disgraced by human rights. Can you put it off, please? OK. Are you officially protesting? No. Can you put your camera off, please? OK, I'm, I'm, I'm not filming I'm you. Of my, I'm, I'm not my filming you. Film me, then. Film me. On YouTube, I've my permission. So what? It puts my family at risk. I've actually had someone pull me one day for that, and I don't like it anymore. And I've had myself right, so filmed by CCTV so cameras, and that puts my family at risk. I don't run the CCTV, so switch it off, please. Pass me yes? Okay, I'm, I'm not filming you, I'm not filming you. Under common law, there's obviously a request and an order, and if in the public area you, you have CCTV cameras filming us, we have to ask the question, people, who's watching the watchers? But it's not us, don't believe us, we're not doing anything.